Yes, yes, thank you. Amen. Tell somebody I'm just glad to be here. Amen. Yes, I like you, baby. Amen. Amen. Why are you glad to be here? We're glad to be here because we get an opportunity to celebrate a power couple. A dynamite duo. Remarkable things through God at this time. Stand to your feet as we honor this man and this woman for six years of service. Amen. Oh, you can do better than that. Amen. 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 Six years of service. The Lord serving people. People business is one of the most difficult businesses for you to be in. Amen. Any other profession but this is easy. But we honor them. Certainly my wife and I thank God for all of you and honor her this morning. Amen. Thank God for her. We thank God for, for Mama. Two verses. 
Lift your hand like this. Let's God be with the joints. Not you, the musician. Do you write songs? You write songs. I see melodies. I see music. I see God giving you songs in the midnight hour. I see God taking some of your life experiences to give you a new song that you want to worship her and that will allow people to worship from even your experiences. Hallelujah. There is such a unique ministry in you where for the past couple of years you've been trying to fit into church, but you just can't. Because there is a unique ministry that God has on your life. Not for you to fit in or blend in. God's going to do some remarkable things in your life. Hallelujah. I hear God say, keep writing those songs. He's going to give you melody to it. There is a healing coming into your life. Some of the things you have to do before. Some of the things I want to do before you God is going to heal some areas in your life. He's going to heal now. He is going even 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 now. Pastor, I just lay your hands on this He is going even now. There's some areas in your life that God is fine tuning. He is fine tuning. He is fine tuning. He is fine tuning. I'm going to
developed a love for track and field apostle and mainly watching the success story of one individual, really, a man by the name of Houston Bolt. Uh, uh, many of us who know him understand that he teaches us a lot of things when it comes to running a race. Uh, it's not necessarily, brothers and sisters, how we start the race, but rather how strategically we finish the race. Uh, let me tell you about you saying, Bo, just if you look at his running techniques in the Kanisha, you will understand he starts out very slow and very smooth. Very now you understand that when he begins running, unlike many of the other track and field stars, he don't put too much emphasis on how he begins the race, but rather how he he starts real smooth with a steady pace, pastors, and until he reaches a certain mid mark or midpoint, he begins to pick up speed and velocity, using the advantage of his gift of height to win the race. Many are intrigued, brothers and sisters, with starting. We, we love the excitement of starting. We, we love people the unknown. We are impressed uh, with starting. We, we love the way we get, we get the courage to begin something anew. Uh, we boast on the fact that I was the first person in my family to begin a business, you see. Uh, we are intrigued with all of this, we broke the mold. We boast at the commencement, but fail miserably at the ending. Ah, come on, I feel like preaching in here today. But the same God that is with you in the beginning is the same God that is with you in the end. Can I prove it to you? The word of the Lord says that I Yes. 
and then halfway through the race we fizzle out is because we don't have a relationship with God. Many people ask Riri how the King David's legacy and how that his kingdom lasts and it becomes a perpetual kingdom in which the scepter will not depart. It's because it was built on a firm foundation which was his relationship with God. Pastor God before he built anything. Make sure that your soul is anchored. Make sure that you know him, that you know him, that you know him, that you know him. That even if the doors of the church closes and all your members leave you, you still know in whom you believe. And you're still persuaded that he is able. I feel like going on and preaching, but I gotta take my seat. Grab somebody and tell them, build a relationship with God. Here's what John 15. Says, this is abiding in me, abiding in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can he except you abide in me. Hear the prophetic part. I am the vine, he and all the branches. He that abided in me and I in him. The same bringing forth much fruit. Thank <laughs> you. 
only one.